This is Snow Hazard and this is Clayverse. And together, these are the brand new Pokemon booster boxes coming from Japan. They are the latest expansions in the Scarlet and Violet series and it's getting a little bit crazy. We just stocked this on Pokeran.net and it's currently selling for £189.99. And we're not actually making any profit on this box. This box is like 89 quid, I think. I think we make a little bit of profit on this one. But this one, we're losing money on. Why? I hear you ask because there's a card in this box, guys. There's a card in this box that is going for over £1,000. And of course, that card is the Iono. Special Illustrated Rare. As you can see on the screen right now, it's a very nice card indeed. Looks great, it's awesome. I believe it's playable as well in Japan. But the price is absolutely insane. And even the full art variant, the non-Special Illustrated Rare, is still going for upwards of 300 pounds. this is all a long-winded way to say that the market in Japan is absolutely crazy right now. It's going bonkers. The Pokemon company have actually spoke about printing more cards, trying to fix these problems. But it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, like it's because the Pokemon hobby is so popular right now. The special arts, the waifu cards are so popular right now over in Japan, the supporter cards. And that is what it is. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're all doing good. A long intro today, but I'm going to get straight into this now. We're going to open both boxes on this channel today. Both sets are cool, okay? But obviously, everyone wants to see the Iono be pulled. Everyone wants to try and pull the Iono. I've got here four boxes for the channel or for myself to try and pull this card. Yeah, and these are going for £180 each, so it's not cheap at all. But we're going to open both. Let's get into it. We'll start with Snow Hazard. We'll leave the best, I guess, till last. I always feel bad when they do this in Japan when they release two sets alongside each other. Oh, I keep forgetting it's this now, isn't it? They release two Pokemon card sets together in Japan, and then one of them is absolutely unreal because it has the waifu card, and the other one just gets forgotten about, you know? And it ain't fair. There are gonna be a few cards in this set that I don't know the names of actually, like the new, um, the, well, not the new, but the legendaries, like the four legendaries. I actually don't know those names. There we go. Let's get into this, and I'll try and be as fast as possible today because I'm sure not everyone wants to sit through a bunch of these cards. Obviously, the packs in Japan have five cards in each pack. You get 30 packs in total in the booster boxes, but yeah, guys, make sure you do pick these up on if you want to. Again, we decided to take a bit of a loss on the clay burst one because it's not really fair to sell it for much more than it's going for right now. It was doing this store is not always about, obviously we're trying to make a profit, of course. Like that's the whole point of the business. That Pokemon's sick. It's really cool. But if it ever gets to a point where it's like just ridiculous for the viewers of you guys to be buying like 200 pound booster boxes, we'll just rein it in a little bit, especially on new sets. I imagine the Ionu card will come down. So I imagine the, the oh, nice. Slow King EX Terra card. I love the Terra cards that they're doing. I've said this before on the channel many, many times. But that is a real nice one right there. We've also restocked Scarlet and Violet, the English set, guys. I know I was away from the channel a little bit. Oh, we got a card here. Nice. We've got an Annihilate EX card. Nice seeing the new kind of EXs. We've got the Scarlet and Violet set out now. Looking the baseline and what to expect with the new kind of new cards, new expansions, new styles, EXs, etc. Look at this Pokemon, man. Nice. But now we're starting to see new Pokemon in those forms, you know. So we're seeing the Terra EXs. We're seeing the EXs. We're seeing the special art cards. And then we're kind of now moving on. Speaking of special art, we are an art rare. We have. I'm not sure what this is called, but that's a Kamiya artwork right there. Look at that, man. That's a Pokemon card. The floor, the rainbow floor. Absolutely unreal, man. So sick. What I'm trying to say is we are well and truly in the new era right now. The new era is here and we are starting to see the different kind of cards, the different kind of implementations that they're putting on these art styles, which is very, very nice. We've got a Bon Sweet. Nothing in this one right here. Love that. Look at that, man. What a Pokemon. And a Vespa Queen at the back. As I was saying, we have restocked the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet base set booster boxes in English. We sold a bunch of those. So thank you guys so much for the support. And then we've restocked again. Pre-orders for the new set, Paldea Evolved, will be coming soon. We haven't just secured that on the pre-order yet, but we were going to sort that out soon. Oh, we got a card here. Nice. We got the secret rare of the box. And this is one of the four legendaries that I was speaking about at the start that I don't know the name of. But soon come on my Pokemon journey. Soon come indeed. There we go. Look at that. Stunning Pokemon. Big jaw. Like a Sabertooth Tiger type style. And I believe that is our secret rare for the box, by the way. So we'll just blitz the rest of this. And we'll get onto Clayburst. The absolutely unreal. I mean, we're struggling to even secure them. Like we've got, I think we got a decent amount, a small amount of booster boxes, but we didn't get more than that. We got like a very small amount compared to what we used to get for Japan. I remember a time where Japan boxes on Pokemon were the biggest seller. It's the only thing we could have actually managed to get from the, uh, the suppliers. We've got a bomber snow right here. And recently Japan's just been, we've been like almost locked out of it. Even our supply in Japan can't really get boxes anymore. So they're kind of doing what they can to get into us. Oh, nice. We've got a Squawkabilly. No, is it Squawkabilly? Yeah, Squawkabilly EX. Really nice design on the EX right there. Very good, very good. Oh my goodness me. Oh, this is Kamiya again, right? Is this the one where the card goes through a journey? Look at that. This is like Picasso at this point. Like, and I'm not trying to insult Kamiya there by comparing to a different artist. I'm not really versed in high-end art, you know? But I'm just saying, look how unreal this is. It's just such an insane piece of art, man. And it's just on a Pokemon card that we can access. We can hold in our hands and we can play in decks. Crazy. I did go to the internationals. A video will be out on that soon. It might go up before this one. I'm not too sure actually right now. I went away and I came back and I've just been really, really tired since. My sister had a baby, stuff with the business. It's just been a crazy period here. Shout out to Laura, who's been editing the videos and also been working hard at Pokemon. Also looking after Harper all day, every day. So yeah, she's been busy for us at the minute. That's why the videos have slowed down a little bit.
bit. We're not going away again like before or anything like that. It's just been a bit intense. I mean, you might. Ooh, what's this? Nice. Another art rare. Look at that. That's unreal. Again, I need to learn the rest of these names. I'm probably going to do a playthrough soon of the game on my Twitch or somewhere. It won't be on this channel, but it'll be somewhere. But yeah, I've been traveling to the podcast. I've been traveling to the Pokemon Internationals. And as you can see, can you see my eyes? I'm not talking about the eye bags. Like, I always have those. But look at the color. It's bad. I need to get some sleep, man. I do. I really do. I really do. I mean, I can't stop pulling cards. We've got a Copper Raja next. That's a nice EX as well. Copper Raja EX. What's going on in the House of Commons? Okay. And we're just pulling more and more. Oh, look at this little worm. I saw the special art or the art rare of this as well. It's like three of these, like flying through the sky. It's just unreal. Like, this is not Star Wars, man. It really is. But yeah, I feel sorry for the snow hazard set. Everyone just keeps seems to go straight to the Clayver set because it has the Ionu. Mimikyu Hollow. Nice. Very nice. Last few packs have had nothing in it. So is this one right here? Bursting through this booster box. It's called Snow Hazard, but if the other one was... I don't, I don't know. Oh, we have something here. We have something here. Nice. Okay, it's so that Saber 2 Tiger thingy that we packed before. I should really learn the names before I film these videos. In the EX. I like this Pokemon. If I get to choose or catch this in the game, I will. I love that one. Sick, man. I used to love Saber 2 Tigers when I was a kid. I think Power Rangers had one, right? Power Rangers had one. They morphed into a Saber 2 Tiger thingy. I loved it, man. So much. All right, penultimate pack right here. We've got a Dun 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 Spot. I don't know what it's called. The Dun Spot is evolution form. And the final pack right here of Snow Hazard is... Drum roll, please. A sort of widow. Nice. And there we go, guys. That was Snow Hazard. Now on to Clay Burst to try and pull the Ionu. Again, I've got four booster boxes. Not opening all four in this video. I'll probably open another one in a video or coming soon with a different title and a different premise. But this right here is our first box of Clay Burst. And this is our first attempt at pulling the Ionu card. I've never in my entire life or time opening Pokemon cards ever known there to be a card worth over a thousand pounds in the box. That isn't more than two years old. And even that is a really crazy number, you know? Even the Hidden Face Charizard was never over a thousand pound raw in my to my memory. Maybe Burning Shadows. Maybe the Burning Shadows Charizard was. But not this new, not brand new, not fresh off the press, man. It's absolutely crazy. Insane. And especially not a Japanese box as well. Look at this thing. It's like a stack attacker, right? The Ultra Beast. But it's just insanity. I do see the price going down in this card. I do see the whole box going down. I don't see this competing in English. Either I don't see this Ionu card worth much. We saw the Miriam card be worth a lot of money in Japan. Came over to England in the new Scarlet and Violet set. And although it is probably the most expensive card in that set, it isn't going for crazy amounts anymore. I think it's settled around £70 off the top of my head. I haven't seen it recently. But yeah, it's just crazy what this set is doing, what this card is doing. We've got Wiggly stuff right here. Very nice. But it's just mental, man. I mean, £1,000 for a card. And even the full art, even the second best card of that very variant variation is still 300 which you would expect to be the price of the hit card of the box, let alone the second card. This is crazy, man. In English, you could pull the the full art and the special illustration rare in the same box. And again, in English, it's not going to be the same price at all. Oh, I love that card. Let's go. I'm actually gobsmacked. As you can see, I'm almost lost for words. I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say. I will probably make a video on this. I might do like a special video, but we'll see. But yeah, it's craziness. And this box I'm opening right now is the one that contains it. Clayverse. That's why it is so much money on Pokemon. That's why it is so much money on eBay. That's why it is so much money everywhere else. And we've pulled. Ooh. I'm not sure the name on this, but I love these new EX cards. They look so vibrant. Really nice. The Pokemon hobby is in a good place right now. I mean, obviously, well, I say good. It's in a, it's in a popular space, you know. The Pokemon International that happened that I went to in London, XL Arena, was crazy, man. There was, I think, like over a thousand people playing the card game. I'm not sure on the numbers on the other VGC and Pokemon Go, etc. But the place was full, man. People competing, people playing. Uh, I mean, people have had a go at me in the past, you know, um, for not really focusing on the playing side of Pokemon and more, more focused on the collection and the, and the price. But I think there's different niches, right? Like some people like collecting, some people like playing, some people like investing. Everything's fine. As long as, you know, you're not doing anything immoral or unethical, it's fine. Do your thing. Enjoy what you enjoy. Oh, nice. I've seen this Pokemon around a lot. I like this one. But yeah, my video should come out soon. I mean, it was a tiring. I set off at 4 a.m. <laughs> and then I got there at 8 a.m. Filmed the Pokemon Center like no budget shopping spree. Filmed a bit of a vlog or a bit of some B-roll around the rest of the arena and then came home. But yeah, I didn't sleep that night. It's just crazy. I've been trying to simplify and like downsize, or I'm gonna try and simplify and downsize a lot of the things I do. You know, uh, I think I went through. Oh, 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 nice. With the Giraffe Rig Evolution art rip. Love that one. Definitely a Lion King style vibe on this one right there. Love that. But yeah, I'm trying to simplify things, guys. I think at one point in my life, in my hobby, in my career. I went from trying to be the best at everything, trying to be the biggest this, the biggest that. And it doesn't even need to be the case always. I do that because that's what drives me. But it's like, you know, I just want to kind of live, you know, I want to be at peace in life. And I haven't had that ever, man. And I'd love to have that, you know. So whether it be the podcast, whether it be, oh, Tarant, oh, nice. The Pokemon channel, the business, everything that I kind of am involved in, like, just, I'm just stretched too wide, you know. And it means that I don't enjoy anything as much as I should do. Like, I love Pokemon. But I love music. But I love the podcast. But I love, like, vlogs. Trying to spin all those plates is hard, man. It's hard. I enjoy everything, but I, I, there's certain times where you burn out, you know, and, like, 
Burning out in one thing is one thing, but then burning out in everything at once. Oh, nice. We've got an art rare as well. This car is super cool, man. Look at the monkey. It's kind of like flipping us off, you know, as well. Look at that, man. So, so sick. But yeah, I just want to bring you guys the best content, the best video, the best poker.net, the best store. It's great as well, going really well right now. I want to keep promoting that and helping that business grow. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> The secret rare in this box is not the Iono. We have not made a thousand pounds from this box, but we have got a cute little full art card right here. Very, very nice. Even this video, I'm sure this video is not even very good, man. It's just, it's hard. Oh, Sandy Gast. Let's go. Why is Sandy Gast? Oh, is it in a sand pit? I thought it was in someone's bedroom. I was like, why is it in the bedroom? Like, how's the sand even working? How's that working out? But it's in like a play area. Why is this card going so hard, man? Like, why is the sun and the like the environment that cinematic? It's unreal. Next pack we have a oh, that's sick. I'm gonna catch that. I'm gonna catch that. Luxray. I mean, Luxray has some of the coldest cards. I remember it in Sun Shield as well. There was a Luxray. I think is it Vivid Voltage? I'm not quite sure, but there was a Luxray Holo card that went so hard. Was it even a Holo? It might have been like a just a rare, but the artwork went crazy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nice, a Foratrus Terra EX. I do wonder why they made this an EX. No, it's fine actually. It's fine. I keep thinking. Yeah, I was like. I saw it. The, I saw the SR, the um, like the the, the white and the you know, the RK9 and Gyarados variant of that card, the full art terror card. And I was like, why they made Fortress that? It's fine. Let's not discriminate Pokemon, you know. Although if they made a Wormadom, I would quit the hobby. If they made a SR EX Terror Wormadom, I would quit the hobby for sure. What's this? Next up, we have a nice Noivern EX. I heard this is playable. I heard this is going to go into a lot of decks. I saw that on Twitter. There she is. That is the Iono card. That's the regular supporter. But obviously, the full art and the special illustrator rare is the one that's going absolutely crazy. You can see why. I mean, look at the art style. You can see how she's got something about her. The style, what you can do with the special art cards, the full art cards. So it kind of makes sense. I see that. I, I do see it. But £1,000, crazy. Crazy. Last pack, nothing in that. But yeah, there we go, guys. That was Clayverse and Snow Hazard. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Sorry, my energy was a little bit lower today. I'm going to try and bring it back and improve it soon. But thanks for watching, regardless. And check out Pokerand for these boxes and also the Scarlet and Violet English boxes. For now, though, take care and peace.